Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm David Paul speaking. I'm the Managing Director of ActiveVest here in the UK. Uh, I was on Core Finance a couple of weeks ago, and I talked about some UK shares, Lion Trust, Kenos, uh, BlackRock World Mining, Games Workshop, and uh, Sylvania Platinum, and I'm still very happy with those. Uh, and today I've got uh, a couple more stocks that I think are interesting on both sides of the pond. But before we do that, uh, uh, Seventy percent of the exercise, in my humble opinion, is the general market. And uh, uh, the first slide is the uh, UK uh, Vector Vest Composite, an equally weighted index of all of the shares we follow in the UK. And uh, uh, on in the UK, both the uh, short-term trend of the Vector Vest Composite is uh, upwards, and the uh, underlying trend uh, is up. And that underlying trend has been up since the 11th of November. Uh, many would say that the market is extended, but nevertheless, uh, the trends are still positive and in place. And I'm doing my best to hold positions personally as best I can and add to positions. I've added to Lion Trust, in fact, in the last few days. Uh, the American market in the next slide uh, has been uh, uh, in a, uh, a sideways pattern. Uh, it would seem to have broken out of that sideways pattern, as you can see. Uh, the red and the green triangles measure the long-term trend on vector base to the underlying trend, and it's been chopped uh, over the last few months. And certainly, uh, those, those of us that uh, made uh, quite a bit of loot in the American market in 2020 have found it going much, much more difficult in 2021. It's just the way it is. At the moment, uh, uh, as in the UK, uh, underlying trend is up and the short term trend is up uh, and uh, uh, I have to be strong and buy into positions. Uh, so uh, that's the S&P 500. It's been uh, pushing on that 4,200 level that I've spoken about on core finance quite a few times. It seems to have got through that level and uh, that's last night's close. And uh, it, uh, in fact, is holding on to that this morning at about 4,250. Uh, so uh, things looking quite good. Now, uh, I've got a couple of shares on, uh, on the other side of the pond, and we do these things on Zoom, uh, and Zoom starting to look quite good to me for a push, uh, as do many of the uh, big uh, tech stocks that did very, very well uh, last year. They've all pulled back, and that. Uh, Zoom has pulled back. That's a weekly chart of Zoom. It's pulled back uh, to a 62% retracement of the last range. Those of you that are Elliotticians will see that it's pulled back in three fairly uh, easily to see waves, uh, which is always considered a corrective move. And it's just broken out of that uh, down sloping uh, uh, trend line. Uh, down below, uh, I plotted the weekly MACD indicator, which is showing a reverse divergence signal. And that's a very strong signal uh, for a continuation of the uptrend. So Zoom is something, uh, uh, it's, it's gone quite a bit uh, in a couple of days. Maybe a pullback to that trend line would be a low risk entry. As you can see, it's on the buy recommendation on VectorVest. And Tesla, uh, and uh, Tesla uh, uh, has pulled back again in three waves uh, to uh, uh, a 62% retracement of the last range. Hasn't quite got back to the last old high, and there's a confluence between the last old high and a 78% retracement. And I wouldn't discount in a couple of bad days the market going down there. So a bit early, uh, wait for Tesla to move on to a vector S buy recommendation. But I think there's another leg up in Tesla coming relatively soon, folks. Again, the MACD showing very strong reverse divergence. Uh, hasn't quite given a signal yet, but certainly worth a look. Uh, and uh, in the UK, uh, uh, the uh, Investment Trust, FTSE 100 Investment Trust, uh, SMT, or uh, Scottish Mortgage, is heavily invested in Tesla. And it also looks as if it wants to break. Uh, that's on the LSE. In the UK market, well, futures are top stock by VST. And it's pushing on that top now for the fourth time. As you can see, the last time it moved up strongly, it moved up in big volume, and it's not going sideways on falling volume. That looks very positive for another move up, uh, and that could be a nice 20% move in future. Uh, Cape Tech is significantly undervalued. Uh, that green thick line is the vector-based valuation. 
it's trending up strongly. Earnings per share, the blue line in the uh, chart below, the, the window below the price is rising. And uh, in the next slide, folks, I've taken off the fundamentals and just looking at the technical picture. And it's pulled back uh, to the last old high. Moving averages are still saying the trend is strongly up. And uh, the old stochastic is well down below 20, showing reverse divergence. So that looks to me as if it wants to go again. So that looks like a low uh, risk, high probability opportunity to me. And then the last one, is a FTSE 100 company called Intermediate Capital. Uh, it's charted an absolutely textbook, perfect cup and handle pattern. And as you can see, as it broke out of the cup and handle, uh, volume expanded and then it pulled back and kissed uh, the uh, horizontal trend line, defining the cup and handle. And it pulled back and falling volume is now starting to rise again on rising volume. So Intermediate Capital looks as if it wants to go for a run over the next day or two. Everything depends on what the general market is doing, folks. And if you keep your eye on Vector Vest, it'll tell you exactly what the general market is doing. Uh, anybody who would like a uh, test drive of Vector Vest, if you go to vectorvest.co.uk, uh, you can take a 30-day trial for a fiver. Uh, thanks very much.